Hey guys, Patrick here. Wow, what a year, what a, a market that we had coming out of 2022 into 2023. It could not be more different than the market we had coming out of 2021 into 2022. So this year is set up to be much like the last six months of 2022. Without going into it in, too in depth here, um, I wanna give you a quick snapshot of what we saw, what we're seeing and where we see things going. So the market in a nutshell, the very first three, four months of 2022 uh, were extremely intense. We called it market mayhem. The average sale price from December 21 into January 2022 jumped by, depending where you're looking, 12 to 19% in one month. The Niagara region as a whole, it was up $100,000 in one month. We'd not seen that before. Um, but in a, in a sign of symmetry, April into May lost almost the identical amount uh, as we came out of that market mayhem into what we call the shift. And, and that was really quick in, in general for Niagara. And then some cities it was more delayed or prolonged as we got into May, June, or even into July. But in general, it happened whether it was 30, 60, 90 days. We saw a really quick adjustment or a return back down to earth over those periods. Then as we got into the summer, we call it consistently weak market, where in general, the number of sales on a monthly basis were running 30, 40, 50, 55, 60% below the 10 year average, not year over year, the 10 year average. And so we saw that for June, July, August, September, October, November, and it really carried on consistently. It was sort of like, yeah, the market was crappy, but it, at least it was getting consistently crappy. So we knew where the boundaries were. We knew what game we were playing, um, as opposed to the, the volatility, the roller coaster that we had earlier in the year. And then lastly, December, we just call it the shutdown month. Um, the previous worst month in Niagara real estate history for number of monthly sales was April 2020. There was 292 sales. This December, we just had December 2022, had 294 sales. So December 2022 beat April 2020, a month where we were in our track pants, we were lined up at the grocery store, we were in our rec rooms, we weren't doing anything. December 2022 beat that month by two sales to again be the second worst month in modern times of any month uh, for the number of sales in Niagara. So that just, to me, it's not necessarily the market was terrible, the market was just tapped out. People were said, you know what, forget it. Let's go have Christmas, let's go have holidays, let's press pause, let's reevaluate, we'll come back next year and see what we're going to do. And I think that's really a byproduct of it. So the people that were selling then were really, they had to get to get out of whatever they had to get out of, or they were just finishing what they started. But a lot of people just tapped out and said, we'll see you later. So here we are into 2023. Um, right now, as we get into mid-January, I, I think much like Q4 of 2022, it's gonna take a while to turn this boat around. Um, nothing quick or abrupt is gonna happen. Anything close to what we saw earlier last year, the, the market appetite is not there. The interest rate uh, changes that the Bank of Canada did have really sort of thrown a heavy blanket over everything. So right now, it's just gonna be a market that sustains itself at 20, 30% under normal for the number of monthly sales. And I think we'll see the average sale price bounce around until some sustained uh, optimism uh, shows up where the, the interest rates stay where they are. Yes, they're probably going to go up again another quarter point into this month. But if we see some stability there, some long term um, predictability start to show up there, then we'll see people start jumping back in. And maybe we see the sales being 10, 15 percent below normal, 5 percent below normal rather than 45 percent normal. Because if new listing inventory levels out at all and that sales demand starts to return, then we see the prices start to eke their way up. Maybe they only go up 1% or 2% over the span of the first half of the year. But I, I do expect we've reached bottom. The proportional representation of the sales that have happened recently that are in the bottom end of the market really drew that average sale price down as people on the upper end of the market just tapped out and pressed pause. And as we see a, a spring market return, as we get into, the, into uh, Q2 of this year, I think we will see average sale prices start to find their footing a little bit, not a lot, not $100,000 in a month, for God's sakes, not even close, but we will see a, a small inching of improvement. I think, I could be wrong, but as we get into uh, Q2 and towards the summer of this year. So we've got some tools and resources I wanted to share with you that might help make sense of what I just talked about. On a consistent basis, I think we put out as much market intel content as anybody out there on all kinds of different avenues, different channels, different lanes. So I wanted to share a few of those with you today. 
our 2022 market report. Uh, it's really looking at 2022, what got us there in 2020, 2021, and then where we are here in 2023 and where we see things going in the near future. Now, I'm going to link that down below. Um, that's the big mama. That's the one that covers everything. There's graphs, there's visuals, um, there, there's analogies. There's a lot of those, uh, but it really breaks things down, I think, very well. And it'll give you a really good understanding after you read through it of exactly what's happening out there. As well, we've got a city by city graphic report. Now this looks at each city, so the Niagara region um, as a whole, but then also St. Catharines in, in Niagara Lake and Grimsby, Lincoln, um, Niagara Falls, Thorold, Welland, Fawn Hill, Fort Erie, Port Coop, all across the board. And each city has a number of graphs that sort of represent or it will show you visually what happened and what's going on right now. So that again is linked down below. As well, we have a market insight page on our website where we keep track of on an ongoing basis um, the average sale price, the number of homes sold, as well as the new listing inventory. And that gets updated as we go throughout the year. So it's a good place just to pop on quick and get a, get a snapshot of what's happening in the market. Our blog, now if you saw my previous video about AI blog writing tools, you know how I feel about that. We've been writing a blog for years. We have hundreds of them on our blog page on our website. Uh, if you go there, you're going to find all kinds of Again, market insight, but then also tips to selling, tips to buying, things to know, um, design, decor, landscaping, all that good stuff. It is all there and it is exclusively written by us for you. Also, our Instagram page, we do all kinds of quick little snapshot market info things there. That is an ongoing thing as well. We do an IG live the last Friday of every month with my buddy Sean DeLotte from Davidson DeLotte over at Remax. We do that the last Friday of every month. We go live um, on Instagram at 930 in the morning. So that's always a good quick dive into what's going on at that very moment in the Niagara real estate market. And speaking of Sean, we do a podcast. Check that out. Isn't that nice? Uh, Niagara Real Estate, your Niagara Real Estate podcast. Uh, we have at least two of those go out a month. Uh, again, we talk about the market, but we also have guests on where we'll talk about stuff in this sort of real estate ecosystem. Um, so this is season two. We're really excited about that. So you can check that out. Spotify, uh, Google, um, Apple Music, wherever you get your podcast, it is there. Again, that is your Niagara Real Estate podcast. Links down below. And of course, there's the good old fashioned text, email, phone call. Uh, you're always welcome to reach out to us. We're always happy to chat about the market. It's what we do on a daily basis. So don't hesitate. Don't be shy. If you do have a question about a particular area of a city or a house or a neighborhood, um, please do give us a buzz. One more thing. If you've not subscribed to this real estate channel, I highly encourage you to do so. It's where all the cool kids are getting their Niagara real estate market insights. Uh, we are here. We are, are putting out content in all different platforms all the time. We want to be your Google for Niagara real estate market information. So please uh, subscribe, check back in, and uh, we look forward to chatting with you later. Okay. Cheers. Bye.